On February 26th, Jim Beheim joined an elite fraternity of coaches by winning his 700th game. But his journey to this moment actually began 43 years ago. Jim Beheim came east to Syracuse from nearby Lions in 1962. He was a walk-on who not only earned a spot on the team, but was elected co-captain in his senior year. After graduating from SU, Jim played professionally as a member of the Eastern League Scranton franchise. Then, in 1969, he launched his coaching career as a graduate assistant for Roy Danforth at his alma mater. Seven years later, Danforth moved on to Tulane, handing the reins to his now top assistant. 29 years and more than 700 victories later, Jim has earned his rightful place in college basketball history. 27 20 win seasons, 7 Big East championships, 24 NCAA tournament appearances, 13 Sweet 16 showings, 3 national championship games, and a national championship in 2003. Accordingly, Jim Beheim will be inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame this fall. Well, Jim Beheim is really a remarkable coach, and, and like a lot of coaches, he just keeps getting better. You know, the, the, the longer he goes, I think he was an outstanding coach when he first became a head coach because he was a hard worker, a good, solid, aggressive recruiter, and is someone who has always had a good feel for the game. He has a great innate feel and instinct for the game, and because of that, he's able to teach the game. Uh, he sees the game as a whole, and he's able to fit the parts in very nicely, and he's done it in a lot of different ways. The more I'm away from Coach Beheim, the more I love him even more, the more I appreciate him, Coach Fine, you know, more than anything. I always tell uh, Coach Fine that, like, you know, Coach Beheim's our coach, but you're the backbone of our team more than anything. And I, I wouldn't trade my, my four years at Syracuse University but nothing in the world. That's the best time of my life, even now to this day. You got a coach that knows what he wants and he'll tell you exactly what he wants. I mean, you don't have to go around and play games like uh, with these coaches that are trying to, you know, scare their players or, you know, he always treated us as men, you know, and, uh, and even though you might be a little shaky, when someone treats you with respect and treats you like a, a man, then you, you try to do the best of your abilities to, to, to live up to that reputation. You think about all the success, all the great players he's recruited, all the guys he's developed. Uh, to me, Jim Beheim is a genuine Hall of Famer. You know you make me wanna shout 